Hey guys, this is your boy Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and the video today is particularly about if you want women to be open, you must be open. And this is something that many guys, they don't have any recollection with because when you are not open and you're demanding a woman to be open, it's unfair to her. It is completely unfair because when you are not open, a lot of times the woman won't be. And for some reason you think you're being open by just walking up to a girl and saying, excuse me, I think you look pretty and this, this, and this, and this. That has come to you as, oh, I'm completely open. I'm open-minded, I'm open to everything, but the girl is just not being open. But I ask you this, where are you open in your body and where are you closed? Many men will never know the answer to this because they never do inventory on themselves on open and when they're being closed. Because openness itself is your naturalness. Your naturalness for, uh, as a person is openness. But for some reason you've told yourself that, you know what, I'm already open, man. I've learned, you know, I've learned how to walk up to a girl on the street and say she looks pretty. I've learned how to, you know, how to hold a conversation. I've learned all these things, but she's not giving me anything back. The women I approach on the street, they're not giving me anything back. And the reason why they're not giving you anything back, because you're not even open within yourself. The only two ways my reality works, my reality, Tony Solo or Anthony Burchett, whichever one you want to call me. Tony Solo is just my dance name and my nickname together. Anthony Burchett is my real name. The only reality that I live in day to day is this. I am either open or I'm either closed. Women are either open or women are either closed. I don't view them as, okay, she's fearful, she's all these different things, to just make myself have to, you know, tailor myself every single time to every single moment to bring stress on me. It only happens in two ways, open or closed. And as I continue to walk through with this mentality of, is the woman open or closed, I start to see her in a different light. Because there's a different degree of closure and openness in everybody. When somebody's completely open, we feel the, the need to uh, be open as well. We feel the right to open. When somebody's closed, we feel all these strange things. We actually start to feel pain. One of the great books I've read in my time is A Return to Love by Marian Williamson. What she talks about, we feel the closure of others and that makes us feel pain. And it was a really fundamental shift inside of me about why is it that we feel closure? And why do we feel pain when others are in closure? And the reason why we feel pain when others are in closure because we close to their pain. Or we close to their closure. And that's what makes us feel pain. That's the thing that I have to understand in myself of, okay, if I know that when, I, when I'm with women, I want them to be open like me in all the ways that I am, then I must give them that. You must give the openness that you're demanding. For some reason, I don't know why guys demand openness when they're not being open within themselves. And the parts where a man tend to close down is his throat, his heart, his gut, and his per perineum. These are the parts of a man that he tends to close down. And if a man can learn how to be very soft and open in these parts, He'll start to notice where the manifestation of closure happens inside itself and where when a woman closes, where does his manifestation of closure arise when he feels the closure of a woman? Because the closure of a woman is very, very painful to a man because we just feel like we're going, we're giving her all the, you know, the jewels. We're giving her all the shit that she needs, which is a man who's walking up to her on the street, a man who's confident, a man that can tell that she looks pretty. But have you ever stopped to think within yourself that I'm giving her a certain level of openness? So in essence, I'm only demanding a certain level of openness. And some guys are super entitled where they're only given a little uh, level of openness and they're demanding a lot of openness. And I say to them, why the fuck are you demanding so much openness when you're only given a little bit? You attract that that's inside of you. Many guys, they walk up to a woman and they want an emotional connection. 
And as they're walking up to the woman, they want an emotional connection and they find that in front of a woman, they can't even open to the girl. But they want her to have an emotional connection. How do you want an emotional connection with a woman when you can't even open to her yourself? So you have to start demanding the openness from yourself before you go up to women. You have to allow yourself to want to open, be able to want to show others parts of you. Because if you want to see the deeper parts of a woman, you must be willing to reveal the deeper parts of yourself. If you're not willing to reveal parts of yourself from light all the way to deep, how do you want to, to ever re, uh, look into a woman from her deep parts to her light parts? From her deep parts to her light parts. How do you ever want that? You're not even open for that within yourself, so you cannot tra attract that in a woman. You can only attract the parts of a woman that's in alignment with you. If you're a man walking around scared about what is it, what if, what if I express this part of myself? What if I express this part? You're going to attract that part of a woman where she's going to be afraid to express something to you. But guess what? The moment that you allow yourself to be openness, the moment that you allow yourself to just express the parts about yourself that you want to express, and you allow yourself to stay open through your own closures in your body, whether you feel your throat shaky, whether you feel your heart uh, becoming closed and it's racing and, and you feel like, okay, I don't know the emotional atmosphere. You feel into your heart, you soften your heart. You allow yourself to come down into your power, into your uh, clarity, your intention. You allow yourself to relax your pelvic floor because that's where your sexuality can now come through you. You just allow yourself to be bodily relaxed and soft and completely open. And from this place, now you can start to attract the parts of her that are deeper. The parts of her that are more open. And the beautiful thing about this is that once you learn openness within yourself, you are not you're no longer afraid of women's moods. You're no longer afraid of when she goes, oh, no, no, I don't want to talk right now. You're no longer when she try, you're no longer afraid of when she tries to X you out. When she's walking and she's like, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, no. You're no longer afraid of that. You can play with that because you're not closing down on yourself. You feel her closure, but the fact that you're, you're so open, you're not allowing yourself to be closed from her closure. You're not feeling that pain from that because most guys actually, when they walk up to a girl, and they say hello to her, they are feeling the pain of, oh my God, this girl's not giving me anything, so why, you know, would I ever want to open? Why would I ever want to give more parts of myself? That's exactly the reason why the closure remains. The closure remains because you have this attitude of, okay, if she's not giving me the openness, then I'm not going to. But you have to understand that the feminine thrives on masculine direction. So as the moment that you're staying open and within yourself, it allows yourself to be completely open for the woman, open to her moves. The closure happens in a woman through the reactivity of things happening around her, but the moment that you stay open through her closure, she tends to open. You have to stay open to her closure, and how do you do that? You walk up to a woman, you say hello. And you notice her clothes down in a sense of she's like, she do like this or she does this or she feels weird, she looks around, whatever it may be, don't be shooken by that at all. Just understand that her reactivity is going to do what it's going to do and just allow yourself to stay open. Don't become reactive to it because reactivity is closure. Just allow yourself to stay open. And if you feel something arise when a girl does that, like I always say, come back to your breath. This is the thing that's going to allow you to stay rooted in the moment when you feel that closure. And I'm doing this all the time, all day. When I'm walking around and I'm interacting with others, the things that I'm noticing is, okay, I can feel this person's closure, then I can feel this person's closure. I can feel my own closure in relation to this situation. I feel the openness in this situation, so I'm gonna allow myself to breathe into this and be more familiar, familiar with this. Oh my God, I'm talking to this man right here. I feel the closure around him, so I'm allowing myself to open through that. And when I'm with this woman right here, I allow myself to feel uh, openness, so I'm going to be familiar with that. Oh my God, with this girl, I feel closure because she's acting like this way. I'm going to relax myself because I know she's probably had a hard day and be open to that. So my reality literally is only an openness and closure. When I look at a woman and I look at the way she's acting, I'm only seeing it in two ways. 
openness or closure, and there's varying degrees. But the moment I could just stay complete as complete openness, forgive me for my stuttering because it's cold, the moment I could stay as complete openness, she can be able to open past her own closure. That is the beauty that you give others. You give others or women the ability to be able to open past their own closure in themselves. The closure happens in their body physically. They start to feel things and then they just react to it. They close down to the world. Most people are actually walking around with these closure patterns that just needs openness. And you can be the one that gives the woman a chance to be open past her closure pattern. Because her closure pattern can be when I meet somebody on the street, I X them out. When I meet somebody on the street, I don't speak. When the, people are crazy out in the world, she may have all these closure patterns, she's just the world. So you have to lie yourself to be openness to that. And be open within yourself about what is it that you are afraid of? What do you find yourself uh, having closure to? What do you find yourself bodily closing down? Which means that you become tense. Where do you become tense in your body when you're in new situations? When you're in situations of the world, where do you become tense? That's where you need to start to learn how to relax, where you need to learn how to relax yourself. A lot of times it happens in those areas that I was telling you about. But the moment you can start to relax those areas in your body, bodily relax those areas, you can now notice where the closure happens because your natural state is openness. And from openness you start to notice closure. Most people are walking around as their natural state of being closure and they get these moments of openness of when they drink, when they're going out and they're dancing with their friends and things like that. That's when they feel moments of openness and their body stop closing down. Or people numb themselves so they can just learn to be open. But as men who want to learn how to bring openness into the world, you have to learn how to first be open within yourself. So when you go up to a woman and she's giving you any kind of closure pattern of hers, whether it be scared, frightened, afraid, whatever, um, completely uh, tense and nervous, you allow yourself to stay open through that thing that she's giving you. So that means that as you stay open, she doesn't have anything to react to. A lot of times she's reacting to you uh, consistently because you are closing down to her closure. But if you can stay open to her closure, she'll, she'll begin to open because you are giving her the ability to do that. And one of the best, my favorite poem in the whole world, the, thing, the poem that I live by, so to speak, is Our Deepest Fear poem. And this poem at the end, it says, as we're liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. As you're liberated from your own closures and fears inside of yourself, you liberate the people around you. You liberate the woman to open. From, that's why when you're in a bedroom and you're being completely open to the moment and you're not trying to be rigid and closed about this is the time I need to have sex, the girl can be like, okay, this is not the right time. And you have the openness that, yeah, this is not the right time. I mean, I'm cool with that. And you just stay open through that and you're not closing down and becoming reactive. Now she can become open to that part of herself that's currently closed. You provide the space for others to open. So be that. Be openness itself, which means that allow yourself to be bodily relaxed and open and a part of your body that shut down when you're in front of others. When you're in front of others, you might notice something happen. You may notice that the closer you get to them, the more you feel tension. The further you're away from them, the more you feel relaxed. You're not going to learn much by being far away from others and being in that comfort zone. You're gonna learn a lot when you're up close in front of people, looking them in their eyes and talking to them and interacting with them or with a woman because when people enter your space, you naturally start to feel something. You naturally start to feel either openness or closure. And as you start to feel openness or closure, uh, the beautiful thing that happens is once you become aware of it, you can now start offering a space for others to be open. And they feel this liberty around you to just start opening. That's why people around me, they feel the liberty to open because I'm not judging them. I'm just giving them the space to be an openness with me. And I believe this is amazing, man. That's why I talk so much about it. And you're probably like, okay, man, but openness seems like it's a little bit, you know, weird. If you want to be a person that lives life, that's completely open to experiences, women, different types of women, you're going to have to understand your own closures and demand openness within yourself. So then as you demand openness, you can have, uh, provide that space of openness for the other people you meet and the women you meet. 
So this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. Uh, it's pretty cold, and I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I love you guys, and I mean.